There are a lot of strange and wonderful planets that exist outside of our solar system, but a recently discovered world is a true anomaly in space. The gas giant Tuath I-1205b is an exoplanet that orbits the red dwarf Tuath I-1205. It is approximately the same size and mass as Jupiter. On the other hand, there is nothing strange about that. Constantly, planets travel around stars in their orbits. The size of Twa 5205, in comparison to an exoplanet the size of Jupiter, is what makes it so peculiar. The radius of the star is almost exactly four times that of its home planet, and its mass is only slightly less than 40% of that of the Sun. In addition, the orbit of Twa 5205b is uncomfortably close to the red dwarf, making one complete rotation around it every 1.6 days. It is one of the first times that astronomers have found such a large exoplanet orbiting such a small red dwarf, and they haven't figured out how such an odd pairing came to be. It completely contradicts what we know about how planets were formed at this point in time. An astronomer estimates that the size of the host star, Twa 5205, is approximately equivalent to that of Jupiter multiplied by 4. However, much to everyone's surprise, it has actually managed to shape itself into a planet roughly the size of Jupiter. When it comes to main sequence stars, red dwarfs are the most diminutive pack that we are aware of. If they get any smaller, we'll be entering the territory of brown dwarfs, which aren't quite stars. They have a low mass, brightness, and heat, and they burn through their hydrogen stores so slowly that their lifespans can be projected to be in the trillions of years, which is significantly longer than the current age of the universe which is 13.8 billion years. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the Milky Way, despite the fact that they are invisible to the naked eye due to their low brightness and extremely diminutive size. However, only 240 of the 5,250 exoplanets that have been confirmed as of this writing are believed to be revolving around red dwarf stars. Only a few dozen of those are Jupiter-sized or larger, but most of them are smaller. Based on what we know about how planets are formed, it seems unlikely that stars and exoplanets could form a pairing like this. Clusters of dust and gas in extremely dense clouds are the origin of stars. It's kind of like water going down a drain, as they get bigger. The material left surrounding them starts to come together and form a disk that feeds into the baby star. When the star reaches a critical mass, it will begin to release powerful winds that will drive away any nearby material, effectively stopping the star's expansion. The debris that is left behind in this disk eventually condenses into objects that orbit the star, and these objects eventually coalesce into planets. Our current modeling suggests that approximately 10 Earth masses of rocky disk material are required to make the planetary core, which is then required to accumulate gas in order to create a giant extended atmosphere. This is necessary in order to make a gas giant. In order for this process to take place before the newborn star obliterates what is left of the disk, it must take place relatively quickly. According to our models, a small red dwarf star shouldn't have enough material in its disk for this process to occur within the necessary amount of time. This is a prediction made by our models. The existence of Twa 5205b, according to those knowledgeable in the subject, challenges what we thought we knew about the protoplanetary disks. In the beginning, if there isn't enough rocky material in the disk to form the initial core, then one cannot form a gas giant planet. This is because the core of a planet is made of rocky material. 
In the end, if the disk disappears due to evaporation before the formation of the massive core, then it is impossible to create a gas giant planet. Nevertheless, 25205b was able to form in spite of these barriers. 25205b is a planet that should not exist according to our most recent understanding of how planets are formed, so we refer to it as a forbidden planet. Transits, which occur when an orbiting world passes between our star and the star that it orbits, were the basis for the discovery of the extrasolar planet. This passage lessens the brightness of the star. Astronomers are able to determine the size of an exoplanet if they know the intrinsic brightness of the star it orbits. The gravitational interaction between the star and the exoplanet also causes the star to wobble slightly on the spot. Astronomers are able to calculate the mass of the exoplanet by measuring this wobble. Following these observations, Canodia and his team came to the conclusion that the exoplanet has a mass that is 1.08 times that of Jupiter and a radius that is 1.03 times that of Jupiter. It is equal to 27.2% of the star's radius, which is equivalent to 39.4% of the sun's mass and 39.2% of the sun's radius, respectively. This appears to be an extreme example, but what's even more fascinating is that 25205b is not the only one. A paper that was recently uploaded to the preprint server R14 and accepted for publication describes the discovery of an exoplanet known as Twa 3235b. This planet has 0.665 times the mass of Jupiter and 1.07 times its radius, and it has a period of 2.6 days as it orbits a red dwarf that has 0.394 times the mass of the Sun and 0.37 times its radius. And in 2021, Astronomers made public their announcements that they had found Twa 519b, a gas giant with a mass up to 14 times that of Jupiter and a radius 1.07 times that of Jupiter's. It orbits a red dwarf with 0.37 times the mass and radius of the Sun, and its orbital period is 1.27 days. Therefore, these extrasolar planets might exist, albeit in a very limited capacity. It is up to work that will be done in the future to figure out how. To our good fortune, the passages of these extrasolar planets can be of assistance. When the light for the star travels through the atmosphere of an exoplanet, the light undergoes changes. With a powerful infrared telescope like the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, these changes can be analyzed in minute detail to determine what the atmospheres of these exoplanets are composed of. Perhaps they will also include some hints that will lead to the solution to this intriguing mystery. Thanks for watching, that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button, so you never miss.